Biggers, 30 miles away to the west-southwest there on the line that the CPR built through here in 1908. That trail actually leads to a township allowance. We're right on the edge of Glacial Lake Bed to the northwest and looking northeast here, it's all glacial deltaic deposits over there on the other side of Eagle Creek, which is a pro-glacial outwash channel itself. 33 miles to Saskatoon on Wilkie Sub, 32 miles here. And little by little, we're sneaking up on Ryle, Saskatchewan, whose station was at mile 30.9 up there. And the siding you see here is winter siding. Yes, it is. I know you might be thinking to yourself, there's a winter on the alphabet line northwest of Unity, but that's Canadian National. This is Canadian Pacific winter. The west along busy Highway 14. I'm just a little farther east up the line are these cars, and I believe this marks the site of Ryle. There was a portable station dropped off here in 1910, one of the earliest ones on this line at mile 30.9 from Saskatoon. Removed it at date unknown. There was an elevator here built by the Goose Lake Grain and Lumber Company in 1916, but it never survived the 20s. A former CP siding, Bill Berry wrote in 2005. And this announces the eastern end of the winter siding, just over the hill there. A few yards behind us is Zurich Junction, sending a branch up to Ball Jenny. Did I ever mention that it was Wednesday about noon, July 22nd, 2015? There never was much to draw. There was no post office. Likely wasn't even an elevator agent's house. Probably just a lonely grain point surrounded by a scattering of rural schools and churches. Ryle, Saskatchewan.